Hello, good evening students. Again, come back to my channel. Myself, Shaitan Mitro, that you know very well. So, already we have finished our first chapter, Foods, where does it come from? So, now today I will start my lesson from chapter 2. So, which is the components of food. So, first of all, before uh, I will go inside the chapter or to the key words of this chapter, uh, actually components of food you can understand what are the main key parts of this chapter like carbohydrate, pro uh, protein, fat, then vitamins, minerals, so uh, roughage, water. So these are the main keywords of this chapter. So today I will start from one table and I will provide one table just all of you follow this. So today I will provide the table for vitamins. and. Then tomorrow or my next in my next class again I will provide another table for the minerals. So see and enjoy. So see what are the columns are written over here. First vitamins. I will write the individual name of the vitamins over here. Then their individual functions I will write in this column. Then what are the deficiency diseases means such type of vitamins if our body should not get then which kind of diseases should be there in our body so about this I will write over here then from which so kind of sources uh, whether it is plant source or animal source so from these sources or those sources I will write in this table and the symptoms also I will write over here if any deficiency disease will happen due to such type of vitamins then what kind of symptoms will be followed in your body so about this also I will write about here so let's start first I will write vitamin A first I will write vitamin A then I have to write what are the functions of vitamin A so Good eyesight, then it keeps our hair, keeps our hair and skin healthy. Then deficiency disease, night blindness, next sources and symptoms, what will be the sources, so next sources, orange, orange, then ripe ripened fruits Then leafy vegetables, then carrots, fish, egg yolk, then milk and pumpkin. Next symptoms, poor vision, less vision in darkness,
sometimes complete less of vision complete less of vision So I am going to repeat this again, first vitamin A functions good eyesight keeps our hair and skin healthy, then deficiency diseases it will be night blindness, then sources will be orange, ripened fruits, leafy vegetables, carrot, fish, egg yolk, milk, Pumpkin. Then symptoms will be like poor vision or less vision in darkness or sometimes complete less of vision. Next come to the second vitamin which is vitamin B1. Now I will write its functions, helps in digestion, then proper functioning of heart and nerves, proper functioning Proper functioning of heart and nerves. Next, we will write the deficiency disease, which is very very. Next, I have to write the sources rice, green leafy vegetables then peas milk egg fish peas milk egg fish etc Next, symptoms, it will be like weak muscles and very little energy to do work. Weak muscles Weak muscles and very little energy to do work. Very little energy to do work so I'm going to repeat it again Vitamin B1 helps in digestion, proper functioning of heart and nerves. Deficiency diseases, it will be very very. Then sources, rice, green leafy vegetables, peas, milk, egg, fish, etc. Symptoms, weak muscles, 
very little energy to do work. Okay, next come to the third vitamin, which is vitamin C. Functions will be like helps in healing wounds, raises to common cold, healthy teeth and gum. Deficiency disease, it is scurvy and its sources are orange, guava, tomato, lemon, amla, green leafy vegetables. Then symptoms, bleeding gums, wound takes longer time to heal. So if in your body there is a lack of vitamin C, so in your body, I means your body may face such type of symptoms due to the deficiency disease of scurvy. Uh, it may be like bleeding gums, means blood may come out from your gums and wound takes longer time to heal. Next. Our fourth vitamin, which is vitamin D, functions will be like keeps bones and teeth healthy and strong. Deficiency diseases, it will be rickets for children and osteomalacia for adults. Rickets for children and osteomalacia for adults. Next sources. Okay, let's come to the fifth vitamin, which is vitamin E. Its functions keep skins healthy. Deficiency disease, anemia, sources, almonds, egg yolk, vegetable oil, nuts, fruits, vegetables, etc. Then symptoms, it will be chronic liver, neurological problem, weakness of muscles. Next vitamin is vitamin K. Functions normal blood clotting, strong bones, prevent heart diseases, deficiency disease, bleeding problem. Sources spinach, egg yolk, cheese, green leafy vegetables. Symptoms gum bleeding, nose bleeding, blood in urine. So actually these are the vitamins, their functions, their deficiency diseases, sources and symptoms. So watch it properly. So today up to these students, so today you have got the table for uh, the vitamin, their functions, their sources, their deficiency diseases and symptoms. So wait, wait for my next class and in my next class you will learn about the minerals and their tables. This way uh, five columns should be there also. So I hope you all have understand, try to memorize this table. So, which is very much beneficial for your exams and for your knowledge also. So, today up to this. So, thank you. Wait for my next class.